I'm Jimmy Kimmel. It is Sunday, and welcome to NBA Game Night tonight, Game Two of the NBA Finals from San Francisco, California. Hey, remember when the finals were in a, a bubble and the players all lived at Disney World? That was real, right? I didn't hallucinate that. But either way, here we are, the Celtics versus Golden State. As is tradition, the mayors of the cities have a fun bet. If the Warriors win, Boston has to send them some of their famous clam chowder. And if the Celtics win, San Francisco will also send clam chowder. It's a very clammy, <laughs> very chowdery series this year with both teams boasting some of the most colorful fans in the game. Fans stocking up on gear at the TD Garden Pro Shop say they believe the Celtics will win. 100%. I mean, if we can beat uh, Miami like we did and we beat um, Brooklyn, we shot them out, I'm telling you, we're red hot. We're ready to go. Uh, well, there's nobody redder or hotter than Frank, that's for sure. <laughs> this is interesting. NBA teams, like any business, I guess, get Yelp reviews. You can go on Yelp and rate your experience. And these are actual Yelp reviews of NBA teams. This one is from a Yelper named Drew who gave the Philadelphia 76ers one star. He wrote, worst franchise ever. If you like sitting in a toilet and letting your bowels out nonstop after eating bad Mexican food, then go to Wells Fargo and enjoy a Sixers game. <laughs> I feel like Drew may have some misplaced anger, but um, the Lakers got a one-star review, too. This one is directed at Laker fans. Lakers fans are a unique bunch. Grown men wearing boys' medium shirts and too much cologne. Re doesn't really appeal to the rest of the world. Well, speak for yourself. And this one is fun. This is uh, from the Bulls Arena in Chicago, the United Center. One time, a man dressed as a clown punched my friend in the face here for no reason. This is the only place where you can get punched by clowns and see Brad Miller fool dudes with pump fakes. Five stars. Um, five, that's a five-star experience if I've ever heard one. Oh, I'd like to see the Yelp reviews for this one. Jalen Brown of the Celtics is now the first professional basketball player to sign with Donda Sports. You know, that's Kanye West's company, which, wow, Kanye, mid-divorce, announcing a relationship with an NBA player. He really is a Kardashian. He's, <laughs> and I have to hand it to him. The new uniform he's designed for Jalen looks absolutely great. I... <laughs> Jalen Brown is one of only a handful of players who do not have a sneaker deal. He says he's looking for the shoe brand of the future, not the brands of the past. But unfortunately for Jalen, I, I worry that he might have been beaten to the punch in that department by Andre Drummond of the Brooklyn Nets. Ah, where's Calvin? He said he'd be here. Hi, guys. Ready to hoop? Whoa! What are those sick kicks? Andre Drummond's big ass feet. <laughs> nice. Hi, kids. Whoa! Two time NBA All Star Andre Drummond? That's right. And if you want to be a two time All Star like me, you better be ready to welcome Miles and my feet. AD Baths are the only shoes scientifically molded from Andre Drummond's big ass feet. Every detail is painstakingly recreated by a team of podiatrists and disgraced NASA engineers. We want the All Stars too! You got it! <laughs> it's so comfortable you feel like you're playing barefooted, just like the pros wish they could. Nice. Now you're getting it. Goodbye! You have some big ass feet, Andre. And thanks to me, you do too. Oh, my ankle hurts. I am not liable. <laughs> AD baths are not just for basketball. They are so comfortable and stylish, you can wear them everywhere. <laughs> Night or day, work or play. AD baths is the shoe for you. Get in the game with AD baths. Order now and get the six toe on me. AD Baps. Get yours at Weird Foot Locker. Put on back.